Now we're going to return home. A family is heartbroken and a neighborhood in shock after a house fire claims two young lives. Everybody who knew her and saw her loved her. She was just a joy to have here. Firefighters race to rescue the children, a brother and sister just eight and 10 years old. And tonight, Bob Jones tells us who wasn't there when that house went up in flames. A house boarded up, windows blackened and shattered glass on the roof only provide a glimpse into the tragedy that took place at this Akron home. Smoke from a fire took the lives of 10 year old Abu Jebuta and his eight year old sister Fatimata. Fatimata had a, a wonderful spirit. She always had a smile on her face, um, always just happy to see everyone, very loving child. <laughs> Just before 7 p.m. Monday evening, a neighbor called in the fire. The house is on fire. Like it's well, smoke coming out the window. Nobody's answering. Captain Sergi Lash says firefighters rushed inside, found one child downstairs, the other in an upstairs bedroom. They were rushed to Akron Children's Hospital where they died. A heartbreaking ending. Um, the job they had to do trying to revive those children um, after, after the fire on the way to the hospital. Um, so it, it was very intense. Captain Lash says there were no adults home at the time of the fire. The mother had left to pick up dinner for the kids. When she got back, firefighters were on the scene. And it's really hitting her very hard. Uh, they had just made a request and she stepped out to get food. Fatamata was a second grader at Cyberling Community Learning Center. Her brother, a fourth grader at Barber CLC. Crisis teams were on hand at both schools today. That's a tough one, and we just have to reassure them that we love them, that we're here for them, um, support them, and answer their questions honestly. According to Captain Lash, firefighters found a smoke detector inside the home, but it's not clear if it was a working detector. As a result of this tragedy, firefighters were back in this neighborhood checking in with other residents. They went door to door offering to install smoke alarms for those who didn't have them. Lash says the deadly fire does not appear to be suspicious and they're not looking at criminal charges for the kids being home alone. The cause hasn't been determined yet. We want to make sure we can uh, look at everything from the right angles. And for those who knew the kids, their focus is on precious memories and the family of the brother and sister. I just know that I am thinking and praying for Fatimata's family um, and, and hoping that they're that they're well as well as can be. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.